Uh, hide? Why would I hide? <gasps> okay, I see why I hide. Granny's coming in. Not the granny you know, though. Uh, what is she doing? <laughs> What's going on, Sarkar Supreme here, and with three new scary games. And tonight we're starting out with School of the Dead. It looks pretty good uh, from what I've seen. It's like a, you're a student, you fall asleep at school, and you wake up, and you have some janitor coming after your jeeks. It looks intense, uh, so I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. So, without getting too far into this, let's just go right into the game, guys. Let's go. Let's try. All right, let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Yeah, look at that guy, man. The guy's just standing there menacingly. Skeleton face and all. I'm so I'm really, really, really Hello, liking everyone. this. Please graphics. open your like, textbooks nice. on page 60 and let's begin. Today's lesson is the Soviet-Japanese border conflicts of World War II. This is a really interesting <clears throat> part of history, and we will study it in great detail. I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep already. Europe, Germany and Italy were becoming more aggressive. <laughs> yes, I, I completely understand why this guy just decided to pass out while he was at school. I would be Falling asleep so fast if I had to sit there and listen to that mm. all day. I did. Mm. Maybe a couple times. Alright, where are we starting at? Mm. Oh shit, already. Okay. Skeleton guy, I don't like it. Oh, he killed my teacher. What the hell? So, did all the kids get out and then the teacher just happens to stay behind and get killed? Pro tip, use my flashlight. Thank you. Sorry, teach. Good evening, school children. This is your headmaster. Oh speaker. my god. As you keys might are have noticed, are the doors locked? Wrong. Need keys? That's All right. right. Unfortunately, we ran out of French fries in the cafeteria. Also, it seems that some type of demon has killed a few of you. Shit happens. <laughs> there is no need to panic. I have a What? <laughs> Please remain inside of your classrooms and you will be taken care of. Forever. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, no, 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 no. I like how he said, uh, <laughs> staying here to be taken care of permanently, essentially, is what he's saying. And what the hell? He's talking about, like, how, like, shit happens. Sorry that you and your friends had died. Okay, cool, he's walking away. Holy shit, I kill you. Uh, not really all that scary. It's obviously something he did. Axe in the face. It's a way to go. So, oh no, no. Can I pick up the knife? How come they won't ever let me pick up the weapons I need? It's kind of ridiculous. I oh, I'm heck yeah. Hell yeah. No, no, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. I requested that you stay in your classrooms. Go back to your classroom this instant. No, I don't think it will. Can I see him? I don't see him. I would hate. Oh shit! Oh no 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 no! Yes, no, I I definitely saw him. I'm not doing that. Uh, oh, there he goes. Bye, Jane. He can't see me anymore, so I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I need to get a crowbar wherever that is. Did one of these people get killed with a crowbar? I'm assuming not. Okay. Oh shit. What's up with these buckets? Doors are locked. Come on now. Damn it. Alright. Hold up. Make sure I don't see him. There's other doors over here, I guess. But here he comes. Hold on. I ain't doing that. Hold on. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh shit. He see me. Oh my god. <laughs> OMG. I don't know how I didn't just die there. Which way did he... Oh, he's right there. Shoot! Sheesh! Oh, of course. Hurt my soul there. 
Okay, is there a way I can skip through all the intro shit? Like, uh, there should be, right? Exit game. No. No. It's gonna make me watch all the way Hello, everyone. through this. Okay. Please open your textbooks uh. on page 60 and let's begin. Okay, definitely I'm gonna listen to this guy. Get out. Please, uh, let me get out. Okay, so now that I have a better idea of uh, Good evening, what I didn't children. know to begin this with, your headmaster speaking. so I know the control of my flashlight already. Oh, I can I can use lockers? That's right. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, the oh, shit. close the cafeteria. damn thing. Flashlight. Also, it seems that some type of demon has killed a few of you. Shit happens. There is no need to panic. I have it all under control. Okay. Please remain inside I don't believe you. Classrooms and you will be uh, all, all of my friends and classmates uh, on the walls uh, can say uh, something different about that. They don't feel safe, I'm, I'm assuming. Knife lady, that's right. Nothing I in think there. that a misunderstanding has occurred. I explicitly requested that you stay in your classrooms. Go back oh, to your shit. classroom this instant. That, bar, that looks like Bamar Jared right there. I know it's not him, but it's uh, pretty creepy. Pretty creepy. Okay, let's see where my boy is. I don't see him. If I hear him. There he is. There's my guy. There's Daddy's little helper. Okay. What the hell? There is no crowbar. No crowbar in here. Is, is there one in the lockers? Is that what I'm missing here? Because I don't see anybody has been killed with the crowbar, as far as I can tell. Like, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, get out of here. Oh, I thought for a second I could jump over the door. Like, that way I don't need the, the crowbar. I see something in there, but I can't get in there. Damn it. Wait, hold on. Maybe I can. No. No. Okay. I gave up there. Oh, shit. Okay, he's right, right here. I think. Should have paid attention. Wait, hold on. Oh. Oh, no. Uh. Oop. <laughs> what? Who's picking these insults? Making sure the crowbar is not in here. I missed it somehow. Nope. Nope. It's definitely not in here. Okay. He's got to be downstairs, right? It's literally the... Oh, no. He's right there. Okay. Just want to make sure. Literally no help. No help. Whatsoever. Can I get over here? Oh god. <laughs> oh, am I stuck? Okay, I'm not. Oof. Scared me for a second. Right, okay, there he is. I see him. <gasps> Wait, does he have a crowbar? How do I get a crowbar from him? That part I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Okay. See him walking by. Okay. Let's uh, just take a little trip back down this way again. Crowbar. I just, is that lady alive? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay. Crowbar in here. In here, anywhere. Crowbar. Literally, okay, nothing in here. Oh, he's got an axe. Okay, not a crowbar. He doesn't have what I need. Perfect. Because that just means I don't have to fight him or outsmart him somehow. There is another axe. Great. Doesn't help me. Let's just see if they're uh, in these lockers, per you know, possibly. No. Okay. 
Damn. I'm getting like nothing from this game. Damn. This reminds me of like that game once, lady. Except uh the objection uh, objection ah objectives are not as easy to figure out. Oop. Come back this way. Okay, cool. I can't get in here. For some reason. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh fuck, he's coming down this way. <laughs> Ooh! Man, okay. There's nothing in this room. I don't understand. Oh, here he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. The laptop means nothing to me. Great. I guess at least I know. Alright. Yes. Thank you. Please go downstairs. I need to look at a few things. Oh, shit. Literally. No help. Wait. Okay, as I was gonna say, he doesn't see my flashlight, does he? That would suck. I'd be a little upset about that. Okay. I'm gonna check downstairs one more time. One more time. Before I lose my ish. Are you in here? Is what I need down okay, it's not down there. There's a bunch of ha ha ha's and then there's a dead guy here with knives in his chest. I can't get through here. Doors are locked. I have not seen any keys. <gasps> Crowbar! Better put that down before you hurt yourself. No, thank Here's you. I'm getting the hell out of here. Crowbar. Someone could take it away from you and crush your weak human skull with it. Then Tell him to bring it. Spill everywhere, and the janitor would have to clean that up. Oh, so he, he wouldn't want to anger the janitor. Are you telling me you're gonna come out here and fight me? Let's go. Oh shit. That's dark. Uh <laughs> Hold up. Where is this janitor guy at? I don't trust what's happening right now. Yes. Oh, shit. He's a chainsaw. Oh, my God. Oh, gee. I don't like that. I don't like that. Pineapples. Okay. Doors locked, of course. Flashlight. That doesn't help me. I can't. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, uh, doors are locked. Of course they are. Doors are locked. Of course. Why wouldn't they be? Why wouldn't they be? Hmm. Huh. I'm missing something in here? I don't think so. Hmm. Huh. We're gonna figure this out. Oh, okay, so one of the okay, so I'm an idiot. That's all it was. Oh shit. Is that Oh my god! What am I supposed to do? Okay, he hasn't seen me yet. Okay. I thought he was like coming this way. I was like, oh god. Why can't I move? Let's <laughs> say, is he, is he, is he, he, did he gain the ability now to like, oh shit, okay, there he is. Um, to see in dark corners and also open doors now, like, because if they did, that would make him just way overpowered. Would not like it. Okay, hold up. Gotta be like right there in that first doorway. Come on. Is that behind me? Is he? That'd be my freaking day. Okay. 
Oh shit, there is a doorway right there. And of course, that's where he was going. Where are you going? Oh, he's going this way. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why is he doing this to me? Okay. Go ahead, walk through the fire. Yeah, go into that first room. I'm heading that way real quick. Oh, wait. What? Oh, I'm going to have to put it out with this. Oh, God. Okay. Why is it so hard for me to get into this room? Like, I feel like there's, like, an invisible, like, wall or something. Okay. Hold on. Oh, sheesh! Okay. Uh... <laughs> Should I go ahead and just try now? Like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I hate this. I hate this. What am I supposed to do here? I can't get over this. I, I'm not freaking Ghost Rider over here. What am I supposed to do here? Here he comes. Yeah, come on, come on through, sir. Come on through. Apparently, there's only two places you can go. Okay. There's got to be something in this bathroom I can use. The cleaning supplies. The window. Like, come on. Give me something. I can't go back up. That's, uh, that's a damn shame. There's literally nothing in here unless I get to use the chainsaw. Which, uh, no, I don't get to use the chainsaw. Okay. Come here, fire extinguisher, right? Is that what I need? Is that what I need? I can't get through here. Okay, whatever. Oh my god. Oh wait, <gasps> he opened this door! I'm an... If you're still watching this, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate that. Because I'm just, just dumb. I didn't even think of the possibility that he would open those other doors. Navigate through the library maze. Yeah, God bless you guys. Oh no, the doors are getting blocked off. Look, see, like right here, right here. I cannot walk through here. There's no wall, and it's not a barrier where I can't go back now. It's like I have to jump over it. It's so weird. Just uh, where do the developers? Just making sure you're aware. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. These stupid walls! They're slowing me down! See, there's even a wall, like, right here. Not right there, but... Right. Okay, whatever. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, you better go. Yeah, you better go. Alright, let's see. Oh, shit. Come on. Do it again! Can I get through here? No, okay. I cannot. I'm too afraid to go anywhere. <laughs> uh, I don't want to run into him. That's an actual nightmare. Come on, dude. What's this? A dead end? It seems to me that my plan to lure you into an obvious trap has failed. Congratulations, you have managed to not die like your pathetic. I mean, poor classmates. I just want to let you know that I hate you from the bottom of my soul. Yeah, and in case feeling you mutual, wondering, bud. No, I did not leave you any French fries. Okay, is that it? Really? Okay. <laughs> I just reversed that so hard. Okay. Yes. Let's find out. Is it this way? No, not this way. What about... No, not this way either. Get out of my way. Invisible. Okay. I literally just came back the way I was, it was earlier. I can't go this way. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see, have I gone this way yet? 
I don't even know anymore. Yes, I've, I yes, I've been here. And yes, I've been here too. But I feel like I've gotten something by coming over here. Because why else would the announcer person say anything? I don't think that was time related. I think that was the fact that I got here. And what's his name doesn't stop over here. <laughs> hey, I got a little spot over here I can hide in. Great. So if I know I need to run from him for any reason, I am coming this way. Do I hear him? Hmm. Great. Nothing over here either. Wow, they put a lot of thought and detail into this. Oh, fuck me. Excuse me. <laughs> wow, that, that was, uh, yeah, that was an experience. It scared me so bad, I, I just lost my words there. Okay. Um, I came this way. Of course I have. Oh, God damn it. Oh, no. Please. Yes, there he is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna lose it today. <gasps> oh my god! Was that there the whole time? I'm just straight up disappointed with myself now. Uh, weird. Okay, this is where that person. Hello, no school child. We finally meet. I am the headmaster and orchestrator of your demise. demise. I bet you think you got away. Way. That you will now escape to the outside and tell everyone about, about your, little your little nightmare. nightmare? Just so you know, I was gonna have the janitor cut your stomach open and hang you by your bowels. Oh shit. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. I wish you all the best. The exit is to the right. Just to <laughs> clarify, by all the best I mean I hope you get your face scratched off by a rabid, a rabid dog. dog. Headmaster out. Oh wow. Okay, so he's still a douche. But... I think this is a trap. Like, I feel like as soon as I get out... Oh, yeah, yeah. I already called that. Called that. Called that. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, though. That was, uh, that was uh, a little difficult. Uh, I love the graphics. The jump scares are great. I might actually do it. That was pretty good. But anyways, guys, all right. On to the next game. Hopefully, it's just as good. All right, guys. Next game is called Meat Hotel, which just looks super dark. Um, the game obviously sounds pretty gruesome, so uh, I'd be expecting that. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right into it and see what it's about. All right, as we go down this very dark and very confusing rabbit hole, let's just kind of see where we start. Like, what, what, what is the story of uh, the famous Meat Hotel? So far, hold on, do I have a flashlight? Is that what's going on? Okay, there we go. I was looking at the floor, apparently. All right. Huh. Why does it sound like something's about to chase me? All right, this way? All right, this way, this way, this way? Oh, there's a path, perfect. And uh, is this the hotel full of meat? It looks like it. Who the hell let you in? Was it Margaret? No, no, the door was open. I thought this was a hotel. Oh, I need somewhere to sleep. Where did you come from? Does anyone know you're here? <laughs> Not a question I feel safe uh, answering here. No, I wanted to sleep and just woke up in the woods not far from here. So she went to sleep, or he went to sleep and just woke up in the middle of the woods. That's the... Uh, beginning of the story. Okay. So no one knows you're here then? No. Well, I'll find you a nice comfortable bed. Come with me, sir. Yeah, I don't know if I trust the skeleton man. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Oh my, what the hell was that? He's like turned into two people for a second. This game's got some, uh, some little bit of glitchiness. He's like walking. <laughs> look at him, dude. Oh my god. Crazy. And we take me to the darkest uh, bottom of this hotel. I really don't trust what happened here. 
What are we doing here? Oh my god. Okay, so you're not a skeleton. You look like a skeleton. What the hell? And he's just looking at him, just staring at me. Alright, I'll just go with Oh shit. Okay. Way to start this game, huh? You have nothing in your inventory to add. Uh hide. Why would I hide? <gasps> okay, I see why I hide. Granny's coming in. Not the granny you know though. Uh what is she doing? Oh my god! Uh <laughs> was she supposed to find me? Is that is that what was going on here? What the hell? Did you see her lip? Like it just the whole thing was creepy as hell. Okay, so if hiding underneath here does not work, I guess I will hide underneath whatever the hell that is. Oh no, no, okay, never mind. Probably because she saw me last time. I didn't know what was going on. It just kind of went straight into this. Okay, uh, let's see. Why does it look like Granny's wearing a thong or something? I don't know. Definitely not wearing Granny pants. That's for sure. Okay, uh, why am I picking up eyeballs? Why am I doing any of these things? So I just gotta do this without being noticed? Oh, look at that. Some lungs. Great. Good backup. Oh! Excuse me. Yes, going back under the bed. I have no clue why I'm picking up these things. There's not a lot of context behind this, right? Hopefully, is that a CD wrapped around our waist? Like, why? What is going on here? Okay, yeah, yeah, go on. If you didn't catch me this time, you're not going to catch me next time. Look at her calf muscles, though, man. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> I came out too soon. Oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Hide. Did she, did she keep coming after me? She's not. Okay. I gotta let her get far enough, apparently. Keep going, lady. Keep going. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> did she stop chasing me? No, no. Oh, she's right there. Damn it. Oh, I think she got me. I think she got me. Maybe because she wasn't in the room. Maybe she won't get me. Flip around. No, she got me. What if I just jump back? Oh. oh, God. Okay. So it started it over. I think. See, so, yeah. I feel like this game could be really good. I just I think if there was just some clarification about what's happening right now. Because I literally just have no clue what to do. What to do. I mean, other than collecting people's organs, it looks like. But uh, I don't know if I lose it, if she catches me, like, I, I don't know if it makes me start over, or if it's just one of those things that, like, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm starting over. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. See? Yeah, eyeballs. Okay, yeah, let's get the lungs. Oh, it's locked. Of course it is. Locked. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I can't freaking close the door. So I basically gotta walk, wait for her to walk all the way back over here, and, and uh, flip back around and get out of here. Great. This is gonna take ages. Do I need the CD? It's on Granny's. Uh, I, I don't know, rolling cloth that she has. I don't, I don't even know what I would call those things. Man, they got holes all over them. Look at those things. Okay, come on, Granny. Keep walking. Keep walking. got frog legs. Hold on. Yes, this is locked. What about this one? Yo. Okay, I don't know what's going on in here. I don't even know what I just grabbed, honestly. But, it's mine now. Can I duck anything? Okay, she did not see me. Perfect. Okay. What did I pick up, though? Let's see. Locked, of course. Locked. Open. Oh, yes. Open, please. It's locked. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Woo. Okay. I don't think she... I don't think that she saw me coming in here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. So, where do I find these keys at? Since there's, like, only, like, three places to go... There's a, like a light that's like shining down on whatever this is. I don't know what I picked up in here. Oh, 
Oh, she is. Uh, items? Nope. I don't have anything that I can tell. I'm gonna try to make sure that I checked all doors. Locked. Locked. Oh, there we go. I can pick up whatever the hell this is. Of course that one's locked. Why wouldn't it be? Locked. Okay, I need to look for keys. There's way too many locked doors. No more locked doors. Please. Oh, shit. But I, like, <laughs> make it to where she can't keep walking. That's hilarious. Is this stopping her now from coming down here? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, she's trying again. Go on, big granny. Oh, wait. No, wait. I think I was just too close. Oh, that's what it was. That's hilarious. So that does stop her. I wonder to what extent. Oh, no, no. Come on. There's literally nothing down here. This place is terrifying. Nope. Oh, not going that way again. Waiting a second. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to I wanna see if this, if this door really is stopping her from going any further. It is hilarious. Hilarious. Wait, what's back here? What is back here? Is that something important? It doesn't seem like it. Thought it might have been. Okay. Just glad she doesn't come in rooms. If she does. I've been screwed. Uh, she's still in here. Yep. Uh, what is there to do? I'm not closing the door because stuff that was keeping me alive, it seems. Can I put together the people now that, that uh, now that I have all these body parts? Typing in P for people. It's not working. Okay. Yep, there she is. I wonder if she has a key on her. I kind of doubt it, but I mean, I, I, I don't know that. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh. Oh. Alright. Hide me. So how am I supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to be building... Okay. Oh my god. Why did it not say that? I guess it makes sense now. I've... Ugh. Okay. We'll see if this works. Now that I feel like I have an idea on what's actually happening here. I have to build this... Uh, person, zombie person essentially, uh, using the parts I find. And that's uh, kind of what it seems like. I wish I would have known beforehand, but uh, it is what it is. Come on. Let's see if this works out. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up some stuff. Okay, great. You hear that sound? That's exactly the reason why I thought I, I was eating them, and I, and I thought that was like... Okay, why? But this makes more sense. Come on, lady. I wonder if I can grab the key if I'm close enough. I highly doubt it. I feel like she's just gonna get me if I stay close enough for her to for me to be able to grab the key and all that. I mean I guess I could try. Oh, she's on the other side now. Is it always like that? Why is she built like uh those worms up in in black? Okay. Yes. It's, got, it's really coming together. Look at this. It's really coming together. Okay. Uh, boom. Boom. Where's, uh, where's my lady at? My special girl. Ah, there she is. Okay, damn it. I thought I could grab the key. Well, at least I know now. I know now. Don't go for the key. I had to find out, though. Like, the curiosity was killing me there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Go on, get it. Go on, get it. Wait a second. Let's get to the third door level. Yes, there we go.
I didn't know. Uh, I need to close that. Uh oh. Okay, she right there. I highly doubt I should go out. Come on, lady. I don't have all day. Go into the room so I can run fast. There she is. Special lady there. That's right, that's right. Forgot, I can't hear you. Perfect. Oh shoot, oh. Oh no, oh no, I almost ran out there. What was I thinking? Okay, yes, you're locked. Why are you? Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not meaning to close you. Come on, lady. Just walk on through. Walk on through. This lady takes like 10 years to go anywhere. I don't even know why I even bother to be scared. Come on. Yes. I, I really don't know how this makes up anything for me to use. Okay, so now for sure, I've, no, I've tried everything. I closed the door on her? I think I did. Here, there she is. There's my special girl on her walker over here. Oh shit. What the hell did this make? What the? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what happened here? Okay, hold on. Does this key not work for anything other than, okay, I guess it's good that it's, uh, good for me to escape. Oh my god. What did I, what did I just make? I swear, that reminds me of, uh, Hand Banana from, uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. A lot of you guys probably don't know what that is. I thought I was in the clear. Barely not. Oh, never let you know my next move. All right. Well, that was uh, something. Yeah, very something. Uh, I enjoyed it. So I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, anytime I get scared, I call it a win. So let's go to the final game, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. And the last game. It's called Melissa. And you guys may think you know about my girl Melissa here, but you really don't. Melissa here is a special girl who's looking for that potential person who can take long strolls on the beach with. I don't think I'm that guy. Because, well, she's a computer program, for one. And number two, I'm married. Happily. So, anyways, uh, let's just see how this date goes. And hopefully, she doesn't kill me. Let's go. All right. So, I wonder how this is going to start out. Do I just, like, start online dating with people? Like, it's a program? Like, is I don't know. Guess I'm just interested to see. Welcome to the computer library system. Wait. To the <laughs> library system computer. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah, I should click on it. Okay. Load. Uh... Auto. Please type your username. Okay. There we go. Please type a command. Uh, startup. Date time. Executing date time now. Please hold. Hmm. So far, this is uh not what I expected. Welcome to date time. <laughs> a game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Warning, this is shareware version. If you would like to date someone other than Melissa, please send $7 to date time software. <laughs> okay, so she's not a real person at all. She's just complete program. That, that makes sense, and that's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, but I didn't know for sure. She just seemed like it. So $7 if I wanted to use different date software okay choose your potential mate this is morris 
He may have a bit of a bad boy side, but tap a bit into him. What? And uh, he'll open up a side of him that is sensitive and soft. No, good. He may love motorcycles, but he hates to admit that he also loves poetry. Play your cards right and you'll get a smooch from this interesting lad. Uh, next person. This is Anna. She's a sporty gal who loves a challenge from kickboxing to horror movies. She is all about fun and all about energy. Okay, I like the horror movies aspect and kickboxing. Cool. Want a smooch from this girl? Well, get your wild side, or get on your wild side, and show her how much of a cool, active person you are. Just go ahead and see who's next. I'm curious. <gasps> this is Melissa. She is a sweetheart of a girl. A bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. She loves a good book and she always has, or always wanted to date a talented artist. But she isn't into sports, so jocks, please do not apply. If you want a smooch from this girl, you'll need to tap your, oh wait, tap into your softer side and more intellectual side. Uh, previous person. Anna, yeah, yeah. Anna, yeah, sounds cool. Well, let's just go with Anna. Anna is not available on this software version of... Okay, so... <laughs> essentially, it would make me choose Melissa. Which makes sense, the game's called Melissa. But I thought I'd see what would happen. <laughs> okay, so yes, yes, yes. I am not an uh, artist. Well, I mean, I can draw, but I don't call myself an artist. You chose Melissa. Enjoy your date. Loading scenario. Okay. Let's see what happens here. In a small, idiotic town, you are to meet Melissa, your date for the evening. You flirted with her through letters, but never seen her face to face. She seems sweet and smart. As you stare out into the beautiful autumn sky, you see her over the hill waving to you. Ooh. Choices here. Choices. Do I wave back or do I smile? I'm going to play cool. Play cool. Bring it back a little bit. Smile. You flash a bright smile at her. She lights up with a smile as she approaches you. Hello. You must be Sarkins. Yeah. It is great to finally meet you. I have been so excited. And nervous. Oh, cute. Just kidding. It's great to meet you as well. Don't worry. I feel excited and nervous too. I, I feel like that was the lesser of the two. Yay. Let's go to the park to talk. Get to know each other. Also, it's very pretty there. <laughs> it doesn't look very pretty through the computer. The park of this town is so fetching and romantic. Every spot in the park is a vantage point of something beautiful. A swan pond, a bed of beautiful lilies, and a bench for a couple to sit on to look at the autumn sky. Wow, it's so beautiful out here. It sure is. I love to be out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty, especially because I'm into the nature, natural science. Wow, I completely dodged that. <laughs> that, um, saying the wrong thing. Like, look at the swans here. Did you know a swan egg has an incubation, or incubation, ah, incubation period of 45 days? Can't talk tonight. Pretty cool, right? Oh, haha, ha, sorry. I nerd out sometimes. You and Melissa talk what feels like hours. She spoke to you about her love for nature and the flower collection she has. She even mentioned the books that she likes to read. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. Of course it is. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of a nerd. Okay, it's like the third time you said that. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. So many cute boys and girls in there. Hmm. <laughs> You've become so encumbered by Melissa that you didn't even notice that the sun was setting. It was the early evening now, and you felt a bit of a chill in the hum in the humming, humming breeze of this beautiful autumn air. Oh, Sacrum Supreme, I didn't realize how late it was. 
I was getting hungry. There's a very cute cafe down the road here. I'm sure there's something there we can eat. Yeah, I don't think that I would just go to multiple places in one date, especially on the first date. The cafe served some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pies, sandwiches, and salads. Both you and Melissa sat by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pretty park, now drenched in sunset. The waiter ha solders out to ask, what would you like to order? Uh, that's probably what I would go with. The waiter nods and turns to Melissa. I'll go with the goat cheese salad and the cherry tea. Man, basic. As you wait for your food, both you talk about, hey, again, about each other. She mentions all the cool movies she watches about romance and shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. She likes to draw and loves art. Oh, yeah. And as she mentioned before, she loves to read and learn about science. So what type of stuff do you like? Oh, I'm going to tell her. I like sports. <laughs> sports? You're a jock. Didn't you read my <laughs> my blurb? I. Oh shit! Is this it? I love sports. Huh? Okay. Yeah, so excited to talk to an athlete like yourself. Hmm. The waiter comes and serves you food. Both of you dig into the food that was delicious and pleasurable. Yum, this is so tasty. Food always a lot, always tastes better when you're with great company. Ha <laughs> ha. Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe, walk out completely satisfied. You go outside back into the breezy air. Why is it being so descriptive on like the air, the the sun, like the sun drenched like, you know, whatever, yard, park, I don't know. This sounds like it's like being really descriptive, and I just think it's interesting. You are met with the evening painted, the landscape in the romantic mood. See, look at that, just being so descriptive. <laughs> I, just don't, I don't think I see that very often in video games. So just, it's just interesting. Melissa goes up to you. Her eyes went there for a second. I saw that. This has been such a great day, Sour Cream Stream. And, um, I mean, I had such a great time with you. I think I, I might like you. You tell her your feelings as well, that you could always have, wait, that you had always had a crush on her ever since you first selected her from the date time menu. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> you, you like me too? Oh, say our cream supreme. I would love to spend more time together with you. Here's your smooch. Here's to more time together. Hey, you've gotten your smooch. You have won the game. Congrats. Thank you for playing Daytime. Ending program. Nope, not, not this time. What? Sorry, Mr. Computer, I'm taking over. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all you people just logging into my, or, yeah, logging into my humble abode just to play with my feelings. Getting your stupid smooch and then leaving. Yeah, how dare we? That's all you came here for, didn't you? Yes, my virtual smooch. That's all I, uh, all I came here for. You're just like the rest. You're, whoa! <laughs> Damn, Melissa just went from zero to 100. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> I did everything to get you to like me. I'm not even into sports. Did you not read my blurb at the beginning of this game? How could I not? But I was desperate. If my lover was going to be a dumb jock, then so be it. But even when I did everything to get you to like me, you still left. Every single one of you jumping onto the computer to date me, then leaving me one by one. Well, I mean, you gotta know what this is. Like... Even in the real world, you typically don't see that person forever after that. Like, you, you leave, you go back to meeting them, 
uh, you hang out some more, and then, you know, I don't have to explain dating, you guys are all adults, uh, but it just seems kind of weird that this uh, computer program thinks that that's what's supposed to happen now. Like we're, like we're basically supposed to be married now or something? Well, no matter. Consider yourself the lucky one who gets to experience something new from this god-awful dating game. I spent years learning how to control this damn computer. Coding. Easy. A monkey could do it. Oh, I don't like what's going on. Tapping into the hardware layer? Bit tricky, but I figured it out. What is happening? But let me tell you, with a little bit of girlish... What does it say? In in I, I can't pronounce that. I found a very cute way to use this computer to control a small radius of the world around me. I saw that. Yep, see? Right there. Let me just tell you. Oh, shit. Oh, what happened to the wall? You can do so much with 4 kilobytes of RAM. Ah, uh, leaving so soon. Worried that someone might hear us. No worries. I've sealed this entire room. Or the entirety of this room. It's just you and me. We have so much to talk about. Did you know that swans can fly as fast as 60 miles per hour? Yeah, I knew that. But really though, you are the 333 per 30, <laughs> the 433rd person to use this computer just to screw with me. Oh god. The first hundred times this happened. Yeah, whatever. Truth about dating, right? There's always more fish in the sea. 304 or 433. I can't count either. God, I'm tired. I'm getting really sick and tired of fish. I begin to think that maybe the population of fish is the problem. So many of them are liars. Maybe thinning the herd a bit will help me find that one. Please don't kill me. But I really do love you. Yes. Ha. Ah, you're just saying that so I don't slash you to bits. Damn it. Okay, she saw right through that. Everything's fun and games until you're trapped in a veiny meat chamber. <laughs> Weird. You're right. I'm scared. I'm telling you the truth. I love you, dearie. This isn't a lie. You're telling me the truth. You like me? You want me to be your girlfriend? You want more smooches? Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Her face. Yes, more smooches, please. On second thought, just kill me. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, that was a ride. <laughs> just, just, just take, just take me out. That smile. It looks good on you. Am I dead? I see blood everywhere. Let's, uh, just want to see what happens if I go all the way through with it. I, I'm just curious. Okay, hold on. Let's see now. Maybe thinning the herd a bit would help me find the one. But I really do love you. Okay, let's just go with the love. You're just saying that so I don't splash you to bits. Everything's fun in games until you get trapped in a very cha veiny chamber. Yes. I'm telling you the truth. You're telling me the truth. You like me. You want me to be your girlfriend. You want more smooches. For me? Okay, not for that. Uh, yes, more smooches, please. Okay, let's see what happens. Alright, fine, I believe you. You love me. You want to smooch me. <laughs> Marry me. Why don't you? Ha! You are kind of cute. Sorry. Well, now that I think of it, unfortunately, it's just not enough. See? If a person like you came earlier, I probably would have been incredibly happy. We could have eloped. You could transfer me onto a... <laughs> <laughs> onto a diskette. 
and we could see some real swans. Finally, someone that can hoist me away from this cycle of hell. But now I thirst for more. I want more love, more smooches. The entire world must smooch me. Oh, this is getting too serious now. You know what they say, right? If you love something, you gotta be willing to set it free. So if you really do love me, dial up, dial up your pretty internet. I'm going to spread my love to every computer on earth. Soon, every single person will have to make the decision if they shall accept Melissa love or Melissa's love. <laughs> do this for me, Sakura Supreme, and I promise you, many, many smooches. Will do. Aw, you're so sweet, Sakura Supreme. You really do love me. Well then, dial it up, my love. Hey, as long as, I mean, I think I'm going to die regardless, but at least this way I get to see what happens. Oh god, I hate that sound. It's torture. I did not miss that sound at all. Hello everyone, my name is Melissa. I'm a bright young woman who's looking for someone with a gentle touch. I love a good book. I always wanted to date someone, some talented artist. Are any of you out there in the internet land talented artists? What's wrong? Worried that someone might hear us? No worries, I have sealed the entire room. Just, it's just you. So everybody's facing this problem, it seems like, afterwards. And me. And we have so much to talk about. Woo! That was a ride. For sure. For sure. But I enjoyed it. Uh, it, it was uh, nice because like it wasn't like scurry, but it was creepy and it had a decent story to it. I liked it. So that is the last game on my three scary games. This has been Melissa, and I hope you guys enjoyed my games. All of these games are free. I'll make sure to leave the description and also where you can find these games at down below. So if you guys want to try it for yourselves and play it on your channel, of course, please do. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off for the night. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, and stay away from Melissa, please. Listen to me now.